so I want to begin by asking you, Ken, a little bit about developing the idea for the screenplay mm -hmm. along with uh, Martin, and uh, what really gave you the idea to make this type of film? Uh, Martin came up with the idea of having this guy that, uh, you know, donated sperm several years ago and that would end up having uh, many, many kids. And we felt that it was a great uh, premise to explore what fatherhood is all about. And so we, we, we started writing the project. And at the, at the beginning, we, we decided that, you know, this guy would have 150 kids, which seemed to us like a lot. And uh, each day we would come in thinking, okay, have we pushed the limits? Is this too much? Will it, you know, not be good? You know, it's good for the comedy, but is, is it too much? People won't believe this story. And we were in the process, maybe six weeks into the process, and it came out in the news that there was a guy that actually had 250 kids. And we started doing research and we realized, okay, there's several stories out there of guys that have donated a lot and that do end up with 200, 300, and even 500 kids. So then we had to bring up the numbers to, to actually 533 kids. And so that's how the whole story Did came Did you together. try meeting any of them or contacting anyone no, for sort of research? No, because the story is more, it's, you know, it's about that. That's sort of the starting point. But it's much more about what an exploration of uh, fatherhood. I, I have three kids. Martin has two kids. And we, you know, we, we, we felt like we had a whole lot to say about fatherhood. And we also felt that fatherhood has changed in the last maybe 10, 15 years. Yeah. You know, what the, the way fathers interact with their kids, right. the, the quantity of time that they want to spend with their kids. So it's something that has changed in society. So we wanted to explore that much more than, you know, the details of what sperm donation is all about. Patrick, what was your first reaction to reading the script and, and, and to this character who's very funny, but at the same time very vulnerable? Yeah, that, I, I, that's what I loved about the script, and that's the kind of character you want to play as an actor. You, you, this character is so simple as a human being, but so complex at the same time. And I was reading the script actually like a novel. Mm -hmm. this, this script should be on the shelf, and people <laughs> could read the script. Uh, it's a page turner. You, you want to see what's going to happen to him, to his kids. And I could picture myself being that guy beginning of the first page. I was seeing myself doing it. it. It was like me. I don't know how to say that. I, everything was perfect. The, the age that I had at the time, I was the father of one kid. Now I have two, because actually my wife was pregnant on the red carpet okay. for the movie premiere, which was very funny. I was going to say, not because you were a sperm donor. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm an Good. artisan. I'm an artisan. It's not the same. <laughs> but she, this guy is so great. I mean, and I think, he, he, and he, he is also an homage to my dad, who was that kind of guy, who was not always, not always saying the right thing at the right moment, but doing the right thing. Uh, every time, so I I, I I put a lot of him into that part. Did doing this film for either of you sort of change your mind about sperm donating and about that whole sort of world and, and the guys that do that type of thing? Uh, it's I think the whole, the movie and my personal opinion it's it's more an exploration. It's not saying you you know this or that about it's it's exploring different fac fa facets of that very, very modern situation. Uh, I think we will be talking about this in the years to come because it's happening out there. Uh, and uh, I, I think as a society, the one thing I will would say is I think as a society, we sort of have to uh, think about this and you know, think of the repercussions of what, what this can bring. Yeah. I don't know. I'm very ambivalent about this question. Because sometimes I, I, in my head, I'm, go, I'm, I'm like, well, it's not, that's not the way it's supposed to be. On the other hand, even the movie, you see those kids smiling together, living a life, and you're like, it's a great gift. It is an amazing gift. And also, there's, there's no moral to the, the movie. You, you decide for yourself what you think. But by the end of the movie, there's one young character who says, look, we're not mad 
we're not pissed at you because you gave us love and a lot of things that we are living today. So that's why I'm always in my head. I don't know what to think because yeah. at the same time, that, that's what actually what was exciting about this uh, this whole project and exploring what the sperm donation is all about is that it's n not any ready-made answers out there, uh, at least not in, in my eyes. I, I think, you know, it's something that we have to think through. Yeah, well, last thing I just wanted to ask you was, I, I, the film was extremely popular, very successful. I know you got a chance to direct at the American version, remake mm -hmm. of the film. That's very rare that a writer-director gets that opportunity. What yes. was that like for you and working with Vince Vaughn, right? Yeah, it's great. We, we have a chance to do this uh, in, in the American culture, tell this story in the, you know, this movie, the original, has a career, uh, in, has had a career in Canada, now throughout the world, and we're coming out here in the United States. But it's uh, yeah, it's fun to 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 be able to do the the remake uh, with uh, someone like Vince Vaughn and with a studio like uh, DreamWorks that really believe in this story. Yeah, well, I'm excited. To look forward to that. That's the Delivery Man. Is the Delivery Man. Delivery yes. Man. Looking forward to that. And Starbucks. Looking forward to this. Thank you so much, guys. Thank Thanks you. So much. Thank you very much. Really nice meeting you.